Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Right, what we're looking at now is one of the uh, troops I did uh, last year on my little challenge. And at the time, people asked me how I actually did the netting on the helmets and I meant to do a video to just to show you how I did it now this isn't my idea this came from another modeler which for the life of me at the exact second in time I can't remember his name but his name will be up on the screen so I'm not taking credit for this he just told me how to do it and I went ahead and did it so now I'm going to show you how to do it so I'm going to move the camera and uh, we'll get started. Right, the first thing you're going to need is a pair of ladies tights or whatever. <laughs> if you've got them in your drawer, take them out. Now fishnets won't do lads, you have to put them back, you can't use fishnets. And what you need to do is cut, I'll get my big hands out of the way. This is going to be very difficult showing you this. Just cut a small piece off. Now, I've got, I know it's a German helmet, but uh, it's the only one I've got available to actually show you. Now, what you do when I get my big hands out of the way is fold it over and just start screwing it nice and tight because as you're can we show you that now? I'll have to go off autofocus and we'll have to go on to manual focus. Excuse the dirty hands. But as you tighten that up, the actual netting is going to open up more and more and more. So you just got to judge it to what you think is the right sort of thing. So if we just give that another little twist. As you can see, I think that's about okay. Then you need to clamp it to stop it from untwizzling. So we'll get a clamp on the bottom there, and that now, as you can see, you've got your netting over it, it's clamped, and it won't close up now. I'll just put you back on autofocus now. The next thing you need to do is get yourself some super glue. There's nothing uh, too horrific in this. Just get yourself some super glue and cover the whole of the helmet. But making sure you get right down to that bottom lip. You think to yourself, I'm putting a lot on. I am putting a lot on because it's very difficult without a brush. But you know that uh, once you use a brush, it uh, the brush is no good. So making sure that's right the way down the bottom. Then what I do, I use a Q-tip just to roll over the top of it to take off any of the excess, like so. But make sure that you get it right down onto this edge because we need to cut it back when we've actually uh, taken when it's all when it's all dry. So I'm just going to rub a little bit round there, all the way around, and take any excess off. All right, so I'll go go, go back on manual focus. Right, where are we? There we go. So I've got the glue all over it, and now I'm I'm going to leave that to dry for uh, I don't know 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to stick you on pause, let this dry, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll go on to the next bit. Well, I've given it sort of 10 minutes. Now I didn't mention at the beginning to paint the helmet. Uh, the colour that you need 
and then put this on top. I've left it plain for the simple reason was I needed for you to see the how the netting went over. But you do just paint it as normal, uh, whatever colour, pink, green, whatever colour you want your helmet painted. And then put the netting over and do the super glue in and everything on top of it. So all I'm going to do now is take that off. And I'm going to get my big hands in the way. I use micro scissors uh, just to get in underneath and then just snip all the way around he says as the super glue has gone all the way round and down I'm going to have to move, move, I'm gonna have to move off camera a little bit because uh, I can't really see that's better Still trying to do it. Believe me, it does come off. I think I should use a scalpel on it, might have been better. I think these scissors are not uh, as good as what they used to be. Alright, now I've done that, I should just trim around the bottom. Well, I've hacked it off. Very difficult result because I normally got my magnifying glasses on. Right. If we can uh, go off autofocus and go on manual focus again. Where are we? There we go. Still needs a little bit of trimming up around the bottom. But. Uh, you do that to as you want and to be totally honest with you a lot a lot of the times you see them that it's sort of hanging over the bottom of the helmet anyway right we'll go back on to autofocus back on that now camouflaging uh, I had some of this this is uh, forest floor scatter try saying that it's and I just took some of the little bits out and I use my little scissors and I just cut it down to some very fine little bits and pieces then all I did was I got my super glue and I just put a few little dabs here and there I mean you can put it on with tweezers, you can do what you want and then just uh, picked up the little bits if I can uh, put you back on manual focus again this camera just doesn't like so that's just putting little bits on. I mean, you can put them on with tweezers, place them, whatever you decide that you want. I'm just giving you the basis on, on the netting. And uh, to be honest with you, that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that uh, as it is. Now, uh, to finish it off, I used a little bit of. Well, back. Oh, sorry about that. We need to put you back on autofocus again. I use a little bit of matte uh, varnish and varnish the whole lot and that's it that's the job done no great uh, secret no great science uh, I just like to say thank you very much for joining me and I hope it's uh, been helpful to you